Okay. Yeah, I'd like to ask you about the knowledge issue with regards to the love of Prophet. Some people seem to do every year. I mean, they celebrate the birth of the Prophet uh, for the love of the Prophet. So I'd like you to comment on that. To comment on the, the, the practice of uh, celebrating the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad Yeah. <coughs> well, basically, as I said, out of our love and respect for the Prophet Muhammad we follow his example, we obey his commands, and we follow him in the way that he has asked us to follow him. So the Prophet ﷺ has alluded to and has made it very clear to us that anything that we introduce into this religion, that these things will be rejected. So any kind of practice that we start that has no basis in the Qur'an or Sunnah, as I said when I talked in the, in the lecture about heresies and innovations, this is actually an insult to the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ and his Sunnah. If celebrating the Prophet's birthday, if there was something virtuous in it, and this was pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then the question is, if that is the case, why didn't the Prophet ﷺ clearly show us that we should do it? Why didn't the Sahaba understand that we should do it? Is this some act of getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the Prophet ﷺ did not tell us about, that he should have told us about? And if this is the case, obviously, and this kind of belief or this claim is not acceptable to any Muslim. Or is this some kind of act that the Prophet ﷺ did not think about and it is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Well, the Prophet ﷺ did not come up with the revelation by himself. It is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So are you telling me that Allah didn't think about it and, and so therefore and it came as an afterthought or something of that nature? And so the point is the way of the Prophet ﷺ this is the best way of life. And he has shown us all of the acts and guided us to the acts that take us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And any kind of act that falls outside of that guidance of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and it falls outside of that guidance, is not based on that guidance, then this act is an innovation. It will be rejected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is not a way of pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even if this act is supposedly done out of love for the Prophet ﷺ. When the Prophet ﷺ warned us about overpraising him or giving him a position greater than the position that Allah had given him, that he was pleased with, as clearly uh, recorded in the hadith in uh, Musnad Ahmed, when we overpraise him and give him that position, we are actually going against what he has told us to do. We are violating our other principles of obeying him and following him and taking him as the example. Those people who overpraise the Prophet ﷺ, they are probably doing it out of love and respect for the Prophet ﷺ. Those people who make dua to the Prophet ﷺ probably think that they are doing that thinking that they are showing respect and the right kind of respect to the Prophet ﷺ. So this fact in itself that this act is supposedly done out of love or respect or so forth, this aspect in itself is not sufficient to make an act correct. Because people out of ignorance do things supposedly out of love and so forth. And even our love for the Prophet ﷺ, even our love for the Prophet ﷺ and our respect for the Prophet ﷺ has to be within the limits of the Sharia. Even our love and our respect for the Prophet ﷺ has to be within the limits of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed in his book or has revealed to the Prophet ﷺ in his sunnah. If it is not within those limits, then it is not something part of the deen, not something pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but instead it is something displeasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the case with celebrating the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he himself never pointed to it. The Sahaba of course never did it. And if you study the history of it, you'll know where it came from and so forth. So obviously it is not part of the sunnah. It is not pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is not a way of getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Instead, what is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what will get us closer inshallah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is intentionally avoiding celebrating the Prophet Muhammad because there is no basis for that in either the Quran or the Sunnah.